Whoa, look at that. <laughs> okay, buddy. I got you. You're not going to believe this at all. You're not going to believe this one bit. I have to show this to the camera. He got, he, he went after it and somehow the line, you guys aren't going to believe this, the hook is not in his mouth. It's on his mouth, but it's not hooked. It wrapped underneath him. All the way around. I lassoed him. I, I, I lassoed, lassoed this, look at this, I can show you. See, the hook, as you can see, it's not, it's not in his mouth. Look at this. It's loose. It came up underneath him. And he's not bleeding, so I didn't hurt his gills. I just lassoed him. Is that bizarre or what? I have never, ever, ever experienced that in my life of fishing. And he took my creature bait. I'll be dang, not a big fish, but wow, that is incredible. <laughs> Here's a great question about spooling line on a reel. Why is it so important to get the right amount of line on your reel? Boy, there's several reasons for this. On bait casting reels, if you have, you don't put enough line on there, man, you're going to get a lot of backlashes because that spool is going to spin a lot faster and that line isn't going to be able to peel off as fast as that spool is running and you'll get a lot of backlashes. It'll also inhibit your casting distance that way because it's just going to mess up with that line. With spinning, if you don't have as much line on there, then what happens, you, you'll underfill it. That line is going to be whapping up against the, the lip of the spool and that's going to inhibit your casting distance. So you're, you're going to have much shorter casts because it, the line isn't filled up all the way. Now, conversely, if you overfill a spinning reel, then all your line is going to be looping off. It's going to be coming, it's, that lip isn't going to hold it in place. The line's just going to be falling off that reel and you're going to get all kinds of nasty knots and, and backlashes. And when you're reeling in the line, a lot of times you'll get that little bit of loop in the in the spool and then your next cast poof, you get this big bird's nest so over filling it can be just as detrimental as under filling it with a bait caster if you overfill it a lot of times what happens is when you depress the thumb bar it's kind of got this fulcrum right so you've depressed it on the top the body of that thumb bar will the bottom part moves in and it can touch in or rub the line if it's overfilled and it's going to re in decrease your casting distance. Plus, uh, what I've discovered, <laughs> personal experience, if you overfill it, the line doesn't always line right back up evenly on the spool when you're retrieving it. It can load up on one side or the other, and while you're reeling it back in, it'll start to catch on either the piece of the frame of the, of the, of the bait casting reel or on that thumb bar, and it'll start to tick, 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 and it'll catch. And that can be really detrimental to when you're, especially if you catch a fish, but it also, you say you're crankbait fishing or spinnerbait fishing, and now your reel's clunking and catching and stuff, it's gonna ruin your retrieve. So make sure you fill it up to the proper amount of line on your reel, and you're gonna have a lot better success, not only with the casting and casting accuracy, but also in your presentations.